three on the hour, every hour, until somebody talks. Van a colgar tres cada hora, en la hora, hasta cuando alguien habla. Where is Victorio? ¿Dónde está Victorio? Number three, then, that boy. men to lay down their weapons. I'm Captain Orrin Draper of the Texas Rangers. And my commission is legal and it runs In a dis- Texas. This is federal land under military protection, Captain. And as such, I'm arresting you and your men for trespassing and murder. Murder? Now lay down your weapons. You let me tell you something about murder, blue boy. In less than a week, Victorio and his renegade Muscularos burned out nine rancheros all along Big Bend there. They didn't leave nothing alive, chick nor child. Now, my men and me, we've been tracking that band for over a month, and the trail led straight here. To your so-called federal land and your so-called military protection. Which one of these do you take for the great Apache war chief? Texas. Victorio's here. And 400 miles of his stinking trail has led me here. And they know he's here. Holed up in some canyon or cave. I ain't saying nothing. Reservation engines! Sergeant Ruth, front and center. Ask the boy what he knows. Don't let us stop, Victorio. Boy says he don't know nothing. Well, you ain't gonna take that engine brat's word, are you? Now, even a nigger can't be that stupid. Corporal Lloyd, Corporal Boyer, First Sergeant. Let's get these prisoners ready for transport. All right, I want y'all to mount up. And extend your wrist over your pommel. Levante el vivo sucre vials. Pon su manos en frente. Tenemos trabajo por los rangers. No se reparte de ellos. Get on the horse! Corporal Christie. First Sergeant. Corporal, First Sergeant intends to send a detachment out to complete a thorough search of the reservation. For that, First Sergeant requires a sergeant. You think you can hold on to these for more than a few months this time, Sergeant? We'll always think so, Wyatt. Best the hell of it. Take half the muster. See if you can flush Victorio out. Shag that calf home to his mama. I got him, Wyatt. Victorio's coming this deep into New Mexico territory. Has to be a reason. Richard Pickens in Texas. Easier jump to Mexico. You be careful out there. Don't make me come looking for them stripes. You take your own advice, Wyatt. I ain't the one going picnicking with rattlesnakes. <laughs> First squad on me! 
What kind of soldiers are you? Buffalo soldiers, Sergeant! What kind of a soldier is that? This is my leader! Prove it! Call for boy up! Front squad! On the other truck! Move out! Troops move their personal belongings across the parade grounds and set up their tents behind the east barracks. Yes, sir. When I say clean, I mean plenty of hot water and light. I want those bare bunks, kerosene, and talent for bugs. The second's used to a certain level of hygiene. My men expect it. That'd be John Horse. Pike Scout. Half black, half Seminole Indian. Swamp Nick. Sorry for putting you out on the streets, Benjamin. Well, I imagine you've been ranked out of a few post commands in your time, sir. More than a few, if memory serves. <laughs> I was in Philadelphia recently, just before this posting, actually. I had memory of your father. My father? Theo Grierson didn't have much give to him, and that's a fact. It hurt him to think of you throwing your life away like this. One word, Benjamin, and I'll have you out of this self-imposed exile and commanding a real cavalry regiment within a month of our capturing Victorio. I volunteered for command of the 10th, General Pike, because I believe in our Negro troops. Well, if that is your belief, sir, then this belief will finish you. This experiment with the colors is doomed to failure. Been 17 years, sir. And a waste of time. See to the horses, Sergeant Wu. That would be Wyatt, yes? First Sergeant Washington Wyatt, yes, sir. You've written him up for meritorious commendation often enough. With good reason. He's the best damn soldier I ever served with. Posting our company in the latrines, kicked out our own beds, digging holes and shoveling dirt. What the hell's going on with our barracks? Watch it, Eddie. Suck those eyes back in your skull, too, so I'll knock him out full. What about the Rangers, sir? I'm going to file charges on them. Secure them here. report to me. And while leaving Sergeant Christie to continue searching the reservation, I brought Draper and his men back to stand trial, sir. Stand at ease, Sergeant. That was a fine report, fine. Sir, the first sergeant thanks the general, sir. Sergeant. Besides rescuing Apaches from Texas Rangers, I assume you had some other reason for being on the Mescalero Reservation. Yes, sir. On routine patrol, H Troop, cut trail, heading up from the southeast onto reservation land. Victorio has kin on the reservation. Now, isn't that exactly what the Texas Rangers did, Sergeant? No, sir. 
Ace True committed no murders, sir. For those of you who don't know yet, John Horace is my personal scout. I requested his services for several reasons. Stand at ease, Sergeant. Not the least being his familiarity with the Arizona and New Mexico territories. This last week or so, Horse has been scouting reports of activity along the Arizona and New Mexico border, Mr. Horse. Membrano Apaches have left the Arizona reservation because of Nana's vision. Ugh, another vision yet. Which doctors, General? Old fools smear themselves with horse dung, cornmeal, praying to the great sky father to make the white eyes go away. In Nana's vision, the Membrano joined with Victorio's Mescaleros to form an army. The Membrano and the Mescaleros hate each other. It goes back so far, they don't even know why. Despite all that, apparently they're willing to band together to drive the whites out of the Apacheria forever. You see the problem, gentlemen. If H Troop did track Victorio under the Mescalero Reservation, he and Nana are within spitting distance of each other. Except I'm not going to let that happen. I pray you didn't let Victorio slip through your fingers, Sergeant. Just for the sake of two Apache brats. Sergeant, you're dismissed. so much as a thank you kiss my ass. Wait until Big Christie finds out. When he gets back, ain't no telling what he'll do. Sergeant Christie, yeah. do his order, same as you, same as me. Yeah, well. <sighs> Colonel Grierson won't stand for it. Same as Colonel Grierson. gunfight after that last 10 miles. That son of a paper, he was right. Victoria? Yeah, he out there. We drew him out of his hiding hole, but then we lost him at the foot of the Guadalupe. He just disappeared. Got out ahead of us. Ain't no way no living man could have done that. Get out ahead of us like that and flank us. Then picked at us all the way in it. I mean, he picked at us all the way. Victoria, son of a bitch. From Mesa Caliente, it seemed Victorio managed to outflank. And outmaneuver you, Sergeant. Taking the high ground. Firing at will upon your men. Isn't that how it happened, Sergeant? Sir, we couldn't even... General, Sergeant Christie isn't an hour out of the infirmary. Might be a good idea if he sat. No, sir. Thank you, sir. The sergeant's fine, sir. Then the sergeant is a liar. Gentlemen. Victorio has been allowed to escape and is once more free to find an ally himself with Nana. Tomorrow, C Troop will leave Fort Craig and not return until Victorio is either dead or in chains. I don't care which. 
No doubt. The 10th is a fine regiment. But even you would have to admit that H Troop comes in shy on leadership. General, I'm sorry, I have no to... No reflection on Sergeants Wyatt and Christie. They're not trained to command. Their kind relays orders. They don't give them. As the General says, sir. Robert, I want you to take command of H Troop and back up C Troop in the field. Command niggers? General, you're asking me to throw away my career. Good God, General, we can't have that. What would Bobby do without his fancy uniform and his little toy sword? You're out of line, Calhoun. Out of line, but volunteering. I'll take each troop, General. I wonder what your late father would think about your willingness to serve with field niggers, Captain Calhoun. Are you interested in my father's opinion as a slave owner, colonel in the Army of Northern Virginia, or major in the Union Army? Major. The only interest I have in a trade is the date and place of his death. July 2nd, 1863, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Perhaps you've heard of it. Sir, as the 10th Regimental CO, I would hope this would meet with your approval, sir. Sir? I have to wonder. Does anyone in this room remember who the real enemy is? Schubert, Sergeant White. Du bist die Ruhe. You are rest, gentle peace. You are longing, and what calms it. I never wanted the army. Did I ever tell you that? No? Well, it's true. Horses, blue wool. I don't know which I hate more. And you, Sergeant. Do you want the army? Is this what you and your fellows bargain for with your newfound freedom? Sir, it's not my place to say. Speak up, man. You hold the rank of first sergeant in the United States Army. You have the right to an opinion. I chose the army, sir. With all due respect, my men are scheduled for target practice, with your permission. Ruth! Lloyd! Stay! Firing range! Now!
Why did General turn them loose? They done murdered them boys and Pikes thanking them with fresh horses? Because they on Apaches, because they kill Apaches, because they're white. And we had intention, Sergeant. My, my. Sea Troop. Don't they look fine? Yep. Good enough to eat. Hey, now that's a fact. Just look at old Tukes there. I think you can polish off a dozen all by itself. And don't Big Christy look pretty today? All patched up with his spitting bail and why? Ready to ride and still looking for some lost soul to tag behind that mule wagon with a shovel. You and your brother got plans for the next hundred miles or so, boy? Keep your troops back, Captain Calhoun. Parade regulations, color companies 15 yards behind white. Prepare to dismount! 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 Well, Sergeant. What the hell are you doing, first Sergeant? Well, a soldier's not supposed to ride through town with fanfare. Regulations, Captain. That is not military, First Sergeant. It's not for the First Sergeant to say, sir. Mesa Caliente. This is where Victorio turned the tables on Christy and H Troop. It's as good a place as any to split up, cut the Mescaleros Trail. I'll take C Company south, Captain. You and Wyatt ride north. We'll have to find something, someone that way. Trot! Bird! Trot! Stop him, Sergeant. They're here in the rocks, riflemen. They're watching us. Could be a feint. Pull us off Victorio's real trail. Yeah, but ain't but one way to find out. Leader Thomas Hobley, wait! Yes, sir. On me. Yes, sir. Yes.
back your own business. Such a pretty thing. You hit, Captain. You take a bullet. My back. My back. Sir. Oh, yes, sir. My, my granddaddy taught me this. Fix all them scars on his back. Mm -hmm. First oh. sergeant, I need your help. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <sighs> What's wrong with your brother, Carl? What is it, Andrew? I don't know. That ant's crawling underneath my skin. <sighs> Eating at my vitals. He doesn't have a fever, Sergeant. The eating is from the inside out, Carl. What is it, Sergeant? It's poison. Poison with the marrow, son. The Sergeant. He done it to us again, Victorio. He left behind just enough shooters to keep us hold up for the night while him and the rest of them backtracked out of there. Backtracked? Look, we can't let go like this, Why? I mean to turn Victoria over to Pike myself and invite him to kiss my big black untrained behind. Now give me two corporal seat and one other. In the morning, we'll make our way back, climb up over that crest line and sneak up behind them some bitches waiting on us in them rocks as we go. Hell of a climb, will you? You sure? I'm sure. So I'd rather die doing than get picked off like cans on a fence. Me too. 
Get it done then, in the morning. Put down them rifles. Now. Oh, uh -huh. John. Tukes, cover me. Oh, she's watching now. Get out now. You understand me? Don't you put down that rifle. Didn't I tell you that? Help us. Sergeant, it's a woman. She's a damn Marine Apache boy, and she cuts your throat as soon as look at you. Where is he? Don't you stop, Victorio! Which one of you sons of bitches took my eye? Andrew, come on now. Come on. Come on now. Andrew, come on now. It's the General Scout. Come on. Car picked up Victoria's trail to the south, but lost it once they forded the Gila. He wants you to come about and. been spit on before. What'd she say? She promised to cut my heart out first chance she got. Yeah. She are on there. Congratulations, Sergeant. You've captured Nana. Apache prophet and wizard. Major Carr will be sorely disappointed. He wanted Merlin or a charlatan. Something flamboyant, even if a fake. What do you think of him, Sergeant? I think he's the most alone man on this earth. Alone? Nanda? With the U.S. Army at his throat? Apache nation at his feet? Half himself buried, and the other half left to wander, looking for what's dead and gone. And it's him. Being ex slave in Mississippi is bad as it gets. You colored, new freed. I did what all the Mississippis couldn't I shall not want. to prove something Carr and the general would never believe anyway. I, would dwell in the house of the Lord, I killed Andy Boyer. Amen. And I might as well kill Carl, too. Soldiers die, Sergeant. For something. <laughs> <laughs> 
You captured the one man who had the power to turn a murdering renegade like Victorio into a holy crusader. You, not Carr, not the general. And it brings you... What? Seven dead men. It's brought me seven dead men. Yeah, we lost him. But we didn't stop. No, we crossed the Gila. We followed it south for miles, then north backtracking, looking for signs of Victoria. Any signs. And we found them. We found lots of them. We just couldn't find Victoria. Maybe if there'd been a few more of us. How does that make you feel, First Sergeant? Knowing you might have been the difference between life and death for these men. You got nothing to say? Sir. First Sergeant has made a full report to the post commander. Said report was accepted, complete, and without prejudice. Sir. One of these days, Mr. Wyatt. You're not going to be able to hide behind those army regulations. Have you anything to add to Major Carr's report, Army Scout Horse? Different. How different? Not so urgent. Carl knew when he sent me to find H Troop. It'd take three days for Calhoun to join up with him at the Gila. If I found him right off. Whatever Major Carr found at those homesteads was long done before I could even get back. Hmm. Anything to add to your earlier report, Sergeant? In light of what Major Carr said here tonight. No, sir. Lacking proper leadership skills, I relied on my limited field experience. I believe then, and I believe now, that the mission was best served by seeing Nana back to Fort Craig and properly secured. Major Carr had every right to expect reinforcement from another troop commander, another officer. But then, the first sergeant isn't an officer. Are you, sergeant? 
No, sir. Of course, Captain Calhoun's death placed the sergeant in a position he readily admits was just too... It was just too complicated for him to handle. Upon further consideration, General, I accept that First Sergeant Wyatt acted to the best of his ability. You are out of line, Major Carr. Step carefully, Colonel Grierson. General you step carefully. Know. You are dangerously close to the General. charges, Benjamin. General. I will no longer sit here in silence while you and your feist terrier I this General. man. My men! For God's sakes! Have you forgotten who brought you, Nana? <laughs> you are absolutely right, Colonel. What matters is that I have Nana, the soul of the Apache uprising. But Victoria is still the heart. And Victoria is still free. And I want him. I want him dead before I have to look at another mutilated white man. Am I making myself clear? What sort of trick was that anyway? Dragging dead folk out like that. Just for folks to gawk and stare. It's a shame and a pity. That's what my mama said. Shoot. Your mama never had words for what Carl did today. And you'd be glad of it. I kill anybody try to do my brother Andy that way. Toss his body out like he's an animal. He's just trying to stir things up. I mean, look how he baited the sergeant. And Grierson never said a word. Colonel Grierson wasn't there. You wasn't gonna say nothing no how. Pike's in charge now. Grison's about as useless as tits on a ball. One more word out of you, Tukes, and I'm gonna put the chains on you myself. Something I can do for you, Scout? For maybe you might like to thank me. Thank you. For going on record against Carr. Damn, are you such a stupid nigga? Maybe. Why don't you tell me what kind of nigga you think I am? Breed. If Grilson and I hadn't backed you, Carr would have managed to get you drawn up on charges. I asked you. Tell me what kind of nigga you think I am. I don't understand you. I don't understand who you are. I'm a first sergeant in the United States Army. Army? Army bears you no love. None of you. They endure you. They'll endure you till they've wiped all the tribes from the slate. With our blood. You have no pride for a sergeant. You have no pride. One thing's for sure, Scout. I didn't leave it in a bowl on the floor next to Pike's boots. Lights out.
That Jesus was a carpenter. What kind of notch is this you say you done chopped in here? It's a dovetail finger joint. Yeah, well, it ain't dovetailing. It's cut right. Ain't my bone, it ain't fit. Well, if it don't fit, this log ain't no good for nothing but firewood. Why? This thing ain't gonna stay up here by itself. Why not? Next time you ride your horse out for money, I'm gonna leave your butt in the dozen. <sighs> what you looking at, old fool? Young fool, I guess. I was just going to send for you, Sergeant. Well, step up. Don't tell me you've gone shy. <laughs> There's been news, good or bad. It's your call. Horse has been out scouting the last two days. He thinks he may have cut two separate trails. Victorios, Mescaleros, and the Nas Membranos. While we've been here acting like the Apache Wars were all but finished, the Membranos have actually made it into the heart of the territory. From what I saw, we pieced together. Both armies intend to link up at one of the watering holes along this route. They have to. There's no other way to cross some of that desert and get out alive. All we have to do is figure out which one and get there first. I was going to send for you, Sergeant, because I intend to give this mission to H Troop. I know. Major Carr's report cast a pall over the capture of Nana through no fault of your own, but I'd imagine you and your colored troops would appreciate a chance to set the record straight for good and all. I'll be in command, Wyatt. It's been a while since you and I took the field together. Ace Troop will be ready to take the field down tomorrow, sir. And is dead. <laughs> You think Pike or Grierson even cares? Hmm? Even notice that a face was missing? Hmm. But you think they lose sleep over every white face missing from roll call? Boy, now I want to live in the world you come from. <laughs> they didn't even know he was dead. Didn't even know he was here. See, that's what kills a body. Hey, we're not soldiers, we're sponges going around soaking up the blood and the guts. And for what? <laughs> Until I joined this here army, <laughs> I ain't even know me no Indians. Never even cared to meet one. Now I done killed a dozen. And I have to wonder why. Because some white boy with gold braid on his arm tells the truth, that's why, and we let him. 
Every one of us gave him the right to tell us what to do, when to do it. Now we might as well be back on the block the mess we made of this thing. Well, everybody got something to say. How about you, Wesley? Do you feel misunderstood these days? I like the Army. Hmm. Ain't a bad place to be when you slow it to the point. Somebody tell you what to do and you do it. And the food pretty good. <laughs> Lord have mercy, boy. What's the matter with you, son? <laughs> now, Nas and Brenos are still looking to join with Victorios and Escaleros. Tomorrow, this troop goes after Victorio. We don't come back until he's captured or dead, or we are. Off. Here's where Horse first got track. Now, we know Vittorio is partial to this area. It's easy for him to skedaddle down into Mexico, first sign of a blue coat. Mm. These watering holes run for 20 miles all through here. So, we'll cut trail sign along here, flank him, come around and beat him to the water hole, whichever water hole. That'll be the plan. We. Oui. Cannot outmarch the Apaches. We don't travel like that. We could try, sir. We can try. Troop four! Troop four! They trapped the car! Muscle to the left! Commander, the troop to you. Washington. I don't know if I'm going to live an hour or a week. It doesn't matter. It matters. No. The mission matters. This regiment, H troop, they matter. If we fail in this, men like Pike will use it to force men like you out of the army. Let that happen. We've come so, so far. Always knew what you tried to do for us, Colonel. Maybe that's the direction we all should be heading. You can leave whenever you choose, Scout. What about us, Sergeant? Are we any less than Gris and left to be picked off one by one? Fighting men we have more in common with than we dare admit. Out of conscience, have you? No telling where you find one these days. Don't cross me, Scout. I'm a free man, Wyatt. I come and go at my pleasure, for my reasons. Can you say the same?
Any man without the balls to follow me after Victorio. Fall out now. You and the scout can catch up with the detail head back to post. But any man stays. Stays from here on out and keeps his mouth shut. Any man deserts on my watch, I put a bullet in his head. And any man talks mutiny, I'll rip him apart with my bare hands. Is that understood? All right, Wyatt, you're the man. What now? <laughs> Take the girl, Corporal Toots. Come on, girl! Ah, shut up! Ah. Shut up! Ah. Do what I do, Corporal. Ah. You want to help the girl? This old man will translate exactly what I say word for word. You hear me? Weapon ready, Corporal? Weapon ready, Sergeant. I'm running out of time, old man. I'm gonna ask you once. Corporal Toops, if this man refuses to answer me, you will shoot the girl in the back of her head. What? Ah! Shut up! Shut up! Old oh, man, where's Victoria? What's this show? Corporal Toops, shoot the girl! Sorry, you show! Sure, I'm sure! Rattlesnake Springs! Victorio's making for Rattlesnake Springs to meet with the Membranos. Our job's simple. Be there first. That's 50 miles more than we got water for. We have our orders, William. I thought you was in charge now, Sarge. I am! for the night sergeant. Group! This mouth!
about you coming with me? Hey, I don't need to come back and find you going and my men too. Smart at the damn freaking Apache. 
They're still about a couple hours away. From where? See that ridge behind us? That sits right above Rattlesnake Springs. And that's where we gotta be in less than an hour. Come on, see. I want all four platoons up to the edge of that ridge above Rattlesnake Springs. Nobody stays back with the horses. Quiet. We have to retreat. We won't have any mounts. Any supplies. We ain't got no way back, damn it. Victorio has a hundred warriors. You can pretty much rule out retreat, Dukes. Corporal, pick ten men from your platoon. I want the mouth of that canyon sealed as soon as Victorio's inside. All right, Sergeant. And everybody on that ridge in 15 minutes. I want to speak to Victorio, the war chief, Victorio. Nantan Victorio, Bishiadzi. Victorio, of course, is there. Uh... 
This is Victoria, Sergeant. Oh, oh, you said that's a Victorio, the man, not the myth. We named you Buffalo Soldiers for your hair. It was a good naming. You are much like Buffalo. On the move, you stop for nothing. A good naming, I think. I think so, too. We made it for our own. She not kiss you. When an enemy praises an enemy, the smart man listens. I've come for you, Victorio. You know that. Victorio. Ni kaniya. Ni entapi estanle. Are you a slave? No. I'm not a slave. Do hatim bi ista in shlida. Ni entapi estanle na weya. You were a slave. Yes, I was. Oh? Washington Wyatt. Why do you fight for those who were your masters? Washington Wyatt. Sir, you are surrounded. We hold the high ground. You cannot escape. I'm offering you a means of surrender. We will fight you. I fight for our dead. We will not be slaves like you. I wish to save as many of you here as possible. I cannot promise I much for yourself. Don't deny said. Why? Why do you murder my people for those who made you less than cattle? Please. Noshka. You have children here. Oh people. Lay down your weapons. In. Come tomorrow, son. I will kill every man, woman, and child in this canyon. And it will be on your head. Tell him that. She also. I don't know why I'll say.
can't do this. Why? We can't do this. They're nothing. Hungry. Starving. Dying where they stay. Then I'm doing them up here. Putting them out of their misery. How can you do this, Wyatt? How can you live with this? It'd be on your soul, Wyatt. Target. shot. On my shot, commence firing. following report. We could not hold Victorio. We fought through our barricades, taking them now not with him. We regret their escape, but with food and water running low, we believed it best to return to posts. We will pursue at a later date. Is that not correct, gentlemen? Yes, sir! Sir, for the first sergeant, the only salute.
Fourth of July, Sergeant. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help us produce more compelling historical content like this, 
Please like, comment below, and share this video with fellow history buffs. And of course, be sure to subscribe to help keep history happening.